Hi everyone, in this lesson we'll be looking at the archaeologists who worked at Pompeii in the 19th century. So that's the people who worked at Pompeii excavating the site in the 1800s. There were several different archaeologists who excavated Pompeii and Herculaneum in the 19th century. The most important one was Giuseppe Fiorelli, who was director of excavations from 1860 to 1875. And you can see a picture of him there. Other important archaeologists who worked at Pompeii and Herculaneum are Francois Mazoas, August Mao, and Carlo Benucci. There were extensive excavations under Francois Mazoas in 1808. He was a French archaeologist. He lived 1783 to 1826. August Mao was a German archaeologist. His main interest was art and architecture. He made a study of the frescoes of Pompeii and classified them into four styles. Now, the frescoes were actually wall paintings. They were paintings on the walls. So in today, in Australia, uh, most people will buy a painting and you can get it framed and then you just hang it on the wall. So you might have a picture of, uh, you know, the, the Sydney Harbour Bridge or the Opera House or something and, you know, you just hang it on the wall. Uh, but what they did in ancient times in Pompeii is they just painted on the entire wall and that's called a fresco. And they also did it in Thera, which is uh, uh, one of the islands in the Mediterranean and it's where the Minoans were and uh, or one of the islands they were on. And, um, you know, they had frescoes there, which are very famous as well. So he made a study of the frescoes or the wall paintings of Pompeii and he classified them into four styles. He also provided a date range which helped date how old buildings were. So if you know how old a particular painting is and that particular painting is in a certain building, then you know that that building must be the same age. So if the painting is 2,000 years old, then the building is probably 2,000 years old. If the painting is about 2,100 years old, then the building must be 2,100 years old. So that's how they used the, uh, the dating of the paintings to help date the buildings. The four styles of Pompeii were the first style referred to as the masonry style was popular from 200 BC to 80 BC. It is characterised by the use of simulated marble with other simulated elements. For example, the wall painting in the Samnite house in Herculaneum. The second style or architectural style is from 80 BC to 10 BC. This was where walls were decorated with architectural features and trompe lioli. That's a trick of the eye compositions. So it was a bit of an illusion. And there's an example of one of those paintings. A picture in the second style from the house of Julia Felix. So that's from the house of Julia Felix, one of the most famous houses in Pompeii. The third style, or ornate style, was popular around 10 BC to 50 AD as a reaction to the austerity of the previous period. It leaves room for more figurative and colourful decoration. And you can see some of the colours there. There's some red and yellow, and it's a much more brighter painting. Its main characteristic was departure from illusionist devices although these, along with figural representation, later crept back into this style. It obeyed strict rules of symmetry dictated by the central element, dividing the wall into three horizontal and three to five vertical zones. The fourth style. The fourth style in Roman wall painting, 60 to 79 AD, is generally less ornamented than its predecessor. The style was, however, much more complex. It revives large-scale narrative painting and panoramic vistas while retaining the architectural details of the second and first styles. Carlo Benucci. 
He excavated the House of the Fawn between 1831 and 1832. The House of the Fawn is one of the biggest, most beautiful and most impressive houses in Pompeii. And this is just a diagram of the front of the house. So uh, it doesn't look very impressive from there, but when you actually look at the whole house, it's a very magnificent home. It was the biggest and most expensive house in Pompeii. Now, the most important archaeologist who worked in Pompeii in the 19th century was Giuseppe Fiorelli. He's by far the most famous and the most important archaeologist who worked at Pompeii. You've got to know about him and know him well. He was an Italian archaeologist. He was director of excavations from 1860 to 1875. He made the plaster casts. This is one of the most famous things in Pompeii, the plaster casts. What happened is the people of Pompeii, some of them got killed. Many would have escaped, but some people got killed. Their bodies were covered and over time the human material decayed and that left a hole in the ground, a cavity. And he filled up these cavities with, with plaster, which created the plaster casts. He developed the grid system, which was a much more organised way of excavating. He published a journal in 1876 called Notes on Excavations of Antiquity to give scholars updates on archaeological activities. The journal is still published today. So that's some of the work that these great archaeologists did to help us learn about Pompeii today. Music